Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is the one. This is by Bora. It's a guide for when you're cutting plywood, of which this is the one piece here is big enough to do for a 48 inch piece. Then if you're trying to do a uh, full sheet of plywood and cutting it long ways, it has this extension piece that goes on it, which makes it 100 inches. Has this extension piece on it that makes it for a hundred inches. See it has like a T-track in here and it has some the screw holes here. So what you would do is you would remove these screws then put it together and then screw it back together. I'm not going to use that today. I'm only doing a cutting a 44 inch piece of plywood and then I'm going to rip it seven and a half inches. Okay? So I'm not going to need this piece, but if I was using a full sheet of plywood, 40, <coughs> um, full sheet of plywood, 96 inches, they make it 100 inches so you're able to clamp it down. Okay, so this is able to uh, go onto the edge of the plywood and then this piece here you pull this down you know bring your clamp down pull this down you can slide it and get it to whatever size of plywood that you're trying to cut all right being it's now it's only a guide you have to decide how you're running your saw so that you can find your distance from here to the edge of this blade Okay, mine happens to be five inches. So, what I did is I marked my plywood with an arrow. This is my cut line when I'm going to cut for the seven and a half inches, but this is my arrow is where the guide is going to go on. So, I have that over here and I'm going to set this up right now so I can cut this at 44 inches and not have to use the extension because this piece is what I need, 44 inches. So, pull this down, put it to the edge of the plywood, get it on your mark at the top. You have both marks lined up, slide it forward. Okay, double check it before you tighten it, and then move it forward. Okay, now, that's on there, nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Get your saw. This is the line that I want to cut. It's five inches over. I've set up my blade so that it'll cut and just barely cut away the line. Okay? Double check. Put it right up against there. to the line it looks good all right now I'm going to cut it to the seven and a half inches that I need so now I unlock it I've already got my marks on here.
I've already put my marks on here. Flip it over. Bring this down. Hook this end, that end, on the edge of the plywood. I got my mark there. Got my mark here. Double check. I'm on, I'm on. And now, push. Okay, I got my mark there. Now you just push this forward. It's tied up against the plywood. Now lock it in place. Once it's locked in place, it's not going to move. You're ready to cut. I don't have to mark the line all the way down. I had marked it, marked it where I was going to cut. Then went five inches over. Let's cut it. my piece that I was looking for all right now I've got what I'm looking for let's do it one more time so you can see it again Mark with my arrow, I have one up there. That's five inches off the mark that I have here. Your saw may be different, whatever it is, okay? That's what you're gonna have to do. Get your top in. Top is tight. Right over to the mark. Okay, I have it on both marks. Slide this right up to the edge of the plywood. Lock it. Lock it in place. It's ready to go. Okay? Unlock it. There you go. Okay, now I have the pieces I need. But this is the Bora clamp. The Bora 100 inch clamp. Okay, and they call it an edge clamp. It's going to be in the description. Pick one up. I'm telling you, they're great. I really like this. I like the fact that I can just use this up to 48 inches I like the fact that I could just use this one up to 48 inches and if I need to cross <clears throat> and if I need to rip a full sheet of plywood I can add this extension piece real simple undo those screws Slide it in here, screw it in so that it stays nice and sturdy and nice and straight. And then you go right ahead and rip that sheet of plywood. All right, build it with Papa. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, pick this up. It's really good. I like it. It's by Bora. They're coming out with a lot of nice stuff. Let's say you have a smaller piece. You can still do it. What I'm going to do is I have my measurement. I came back the inch and a half. That's the offset on the other side. The offset on this side. It's 
inch and a half from here to the blade. So what I do is I spin this around. Get it on the mark, just like the other one. Slide this up. Lock it into place. Okay, did the same thing as I did before. I slid this piece up and locked it into place. Okay, now, using this edge, this side. You can do it on either side, just need to measure which way and how you're going to cut it. 